What a yucky day. It's like icy, but then it melts right when it hits the car. Um, we got a lot of stuff to do, don't we, Mumsy? Yep. Running errands, taking names, and one cool thing, this is Caleb's birthday. Today is Caleb's birthday. How do you feel, little man? Good. How old are you now? Eight. Are you sure? Yes. How many years is that in dog years? Uh, I don't know dog years. Claire's got the presents. Okay, you guys have questions and we got answers. And a lot of you guys have been asking about my health. And um, I have severe rheumatoid arthritis that's really debilitating. Yeah. And I used to be on a $2,500 a month shot, but now I am completely symptom free, 100% only by taking Moringa. And if you guys don't know what Moringa is, you need to look into it. I'll put a link down below to some of the videos we've made and even the link to some of the powder, but I'm 100% no pain at all. It uh -huh. was amazing. He couldn't even raise his arms to put his shirt on. Couldn't do it. No. Now he can swing mm -hmm. an axe and chop chop. You know. No problems at all. Jumping jacks and cartwheels and, <laughs> and all you, kinds you of don't want to see me doing cartwheels. It's the the bendiness is not that great. The bendiness. <laughs> That's a technical term. Anyway, also too, um, I've been I've been really struggling with lately rosacea. My face has been um, well, it looks gross. It's like you get blotchy red was, stuff. Yeah, it was very red and inflamed, and and it was painful. And yeah, he's been using uh, well, well about five days. Five yep, days a, now. A friend of ours, uh, of the channel, she said use some tea tree oil soap. Mm -hmm. and we just happened to make some. And um, it's been working. Well, you can it's see. Been working really well. You Only wash, five days in. Are you washing it two or three times a day? I've been t just washing my face with the tea tree oil soap twice a day. Mm -hmm. That's it. No mm -hmm. medicine, no medication, nothing topical. And well, you can see it's, it's a lot better. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> so, winning. Yeah, I don't know exactly how it happened, but the gutter system on a run-in shed has pulled away from the framing uh, and has a big gap that's over an inch long for about half of the whole run. And so we are being gypped. We're being gypped out of free water for our rain catchment system. So the plan is to get up there and cram some extra shingles in there so that it creates the flow and blah, 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 gets the job done, so yeah. Now, some of you know that we do a Monday through fi Friday kind of Bible devotion, a live thing, 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, uh, and it's a lot of fun and it's been a huge blessing, but we're actually going to be moving that to its own channel. Uh, just for me, it's going to make it a lot more logistically easier, and uh, well, we think so <laughs> anyway. We hope. <laughs> but um, the name of the channel is going to be called Big Family Devotions. And um, so we're not going to switch it over just yet. No, it won't happen until after Thanksgiving, uh, that Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Um, and Brad will put a link below. We'll put a link below, channel. and also we'll make sure that everybody has plenty of warning in advance so nobody gets left behind and goes, what happened to my Bible devotion? It's right, gone. Right. So that'll be coming up soon, but not just yet. Right. <laughs> Very cool. We're gonna, we gotta learn a lot of safety rules. Now, a quick word of update for, uh, well, about our son David. He is currently in boot camp at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Basic training. Boot camp. Basic anyway, training. and a lot of you guys were wondering, is he gonna get to come home for Christmas? Yes, he is. He graduates December 9th and then uh, he will head over to his AIT training and then on December 23rd he will come home via Chicago O'Hare yeah, so Airport. Please, so fingers crossed, throw some prayers up because if you've ever been through Chicago O'Hare, 
any time of the year it's not it's it's always busy yeah. and then you know oh i'm just we're oh, just and hopeful then if there's weather oh my gosh we will drive and go get him yeah worst case sure. scenario we'd go pick him up mm -hmm. but um so yay david will be home for christmas fingers crossed Get the Red Rider action. Again! Here we go. Come on. Let's go like this. Ah. Look out, chickens. This is like that the shooting gallery at Disney World. Oh my gracious, Jonathan's got David's bow. Whoa, the whack. See that? No. The whack. I got a sweet pink bow here. We'll see what we can do. I missed. <laughs> oh. Happy birthday to you. Woo. Happy birthday, dear Caleb. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you got all the wax on there. There, that's awesome. Good job. Hey, high fives. Give you that piece. All right. Another thing that we want to make sure that you guys uh, understand is we are extremely grateful and thankful for the way that you've just blessed our family. Um, as you know, that uh, Mama Sita has been making a blanket for mm -hmm. our son David, and you guys have been helping out. A lot of you've been helping out with crocheted granny squares, okay. sending they're, them in. They're, they're not that big. They're no, no. I no, once no. caught a granny square that was this big <laughs> <laughs> no we are we, we have been overwhelmed by your generosity and your willingness to help with our with this afghan for david um, we actually have enough squares for i think three blankets and so we will get one to david and then we will get the rest um to a veteran or a soldier who is in need of in Afghan. Or just yeah, some, some love. love. Just yeah. some love, you know. Right. So, so that's what we're going to do with that. And you, uh, we are very, very grateful. And thank you very much. You've already blown out your candle. And you, you, you made your wish. Your birthday wish. So you're not allowed to talk. Unless, well, your, your wish won't come true. Is that right? Why don't you tell me about it? What? Oh, there's still more cake left. So you, you're not allowed to talk after you've blown out the candle, is that right? So I could say anything I want right now and you would have to be quiet about it. Why do you like girl toys? <laughs> so now this last question, I am honestly shocked and, and surprised just how often it gets asked. And uh, that is, uh, actually it's a question for Krista and it's, it's how do you handle yourself living with a, a man who's so ruggedly handsome and, and wise and caring and loving and most of all, humble. So how would you answer that question? Oh. Humble, humble right here. Right, right, that's, yeah, that's a good word for you. Um, it, it is quite a challenge actually living, living with this humble, humble man. <laughs> I would probably say it is challenging, probably. Yeah, yeah. So, you're still not allowed to talk because you're not done with your cake. So I can ask anything I want, right? Why do you wet your bed every night? <laughs> no? I saw what you wrote on your, on your letter to David. David's in the boot camp. I'm a silly sissy girl. What's that? No, David's a silly sissy girl. David's a sissy girl? Is that what you wrote? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just suck! No! I, I just gotta tell you. Uh, what? What? Are you gonna tell? I'm out of here. <laughs>